Zodiac signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see um, why is your person not communicating, okay? So why um, aren't they responsive? Why have they blocked you? Why aren't they talking? Um, you know, what's going on with you? Why are they staying quiet? What's going on with, uh, you know, what's meant for the future of this connection? It is going to be a general reading. If you have a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. Okay, so let's begin and see what's going on with your person's energy. Okay, the Six of Pentacles indicates a strong imbalance in the energies. So, someone here, um, it could be someone, you know, is a little bit more invested in the connection than the other person. Okay, so, so whether it's emotionally, physically, financially, someone here wants it more than the other person. Someone here is putting in a little bit more effort than the other person. Now, they may be doing it because, you know, they genuinely are that little bit more invested. They want it more. Okay, they could be doing it to overcompensate for the other person's lack of effort. So they're constantly overgiving and overextending themselves because they're, you know, the partner or the other person involved here isn't stepping up. They're not matching. They're not paralleling um, the efforts. Okay, so strong, um, strong. I guess power, like a shift in power dynamics. Or a strong imbalance. I'm also seeing that the energies have shifted. It feels like the tables have turned, and it also feels like the shoe is on the other foot with this connection. Okay, so um, what does that mean? Maybe you were the one who was more invested in the connection in the beginning, and now all of a sudden, you know, uh, the tables have turned. Maybe you're the one who's a little bit less invested, or vice versa. Um, the tables, the tables have turned. Something here has shifted in a very big way. Um, for you and for this person. So a little bit one-sided, okay? Communication may be a little bit one-sided. Feelings may be a little bit one-sided right now. Um, the star card does uh, bring in a strong healing quality to the cards, okay? So there's something in this connection that needs to be healed. Um, so, and I'm also seeing that if you take notice of, you know, the, the star that's etched on the pentacles, I'm seeing patterns. And then we have, you know, a lot of stars here as well. So I'm seeing patterns. Um, there are some patterns that, whether it's yourself or your person, there are some patterns that are being repeated and recycled. And they keep happening again and again. Now, these patterns are, you know, what you or your person is um, very accustomed to. It's what you guys are very familiar with, but they're not healthy. These patterns are exactly what's creating this imbalance in the connection. Okay? He, um, heal and work through those patterns and you will, you know, heal the relationship. Or you will heal what needs fixing in this relationship. Um, this person could also be taking the time out to not... Um, so they might be avoiding contact or communication because they know that they need to, you know, there's something in their life that they need to heal. They might be trying to take time to heal um, an emotional wound of some sort um, or, you know, work through some things right now. I feel like with this person's energy, they really, um, they hold you in high regard. I see that this person, you know, puts you up on a pedestal. Um, this person is in complete awe of you, and maybe that's why I'm getting the, you know, the energy of imbalance. Because as soon as you put someone on a pedestal, okay, you instantly create this separation and this division between you and your person. And maybe this is why it feels like they don't have access to you because this is someone who, you know, who does romanticize you and they romanticize what they have with you, and they're putting you on this pedestal. This is someone who thinks very highly of you, who holds you in high regard. They're in awe of you, um, and. I think as a result, this person then, they may say or do things that may sabotage or hinder the relationship, whether, they, whether they're whether they aware of it or not. Not because they don't want this, but because they have patterns that they keep themselves attached to. They have patterns that they hold on to. They aren't necessarily healthy. Um... This is someone who's a little bit younger than yourself as well. So I do get a little bit of, you know, with the fool's energy. I mean, I'm getting a little bit of like emotional immaturity or a little bit of um, juvenile energy. So with this person, I see that there may be, 
you know, some information that this person is holding on to that they potentially could um, and probably should share with you. Uh, also, I'm picking up like illu uh, like something needs to be illuminated right now. Okay, so right now with the two of you, this no contact, this no communication. Even though you guys aren't talking, I feel like the silence speaks volumes. What's it saying though? Okay, so there is something here during this, you know, disconnection or during this uncomfortable phase that you guys are at that I feel like is really um, illustrating something to you, okay? So if they're not responsive, just remember, if, you know, no response is a response and it's a powerful uh, powerful one at that. Or if there's, you know, it's whatever is going on between the both of you, especially if you're getting any um, synchronicities, okay? If you're getting any um, like repeated and reoccurring dreams or number patterns or anything, pay very close attention because I feel like the universe is communicating um, is communicating something to you about this person, about this connection. Because of this no contact and no communication, your connection is losing momentum. I, I mean, here's the thing, and this is what I'm seeing. You guys both obviously still very care for each other. You guys are both, you know, emotionally or energetically attached to one another. But I'm seeing that there is something that is getting in the way of this connection, okay? And um, and it's something that needs to be healed with the Ten of Swords energy. Maybe this is someone who has hurt you. Maybe they've said or done things, whether intentionally or unintentionally, to hurt you and hurt the relationship. And you can't move past that, okay? Um, or they're still really being burdened by the guilt and the weight of that pain. Um, I do see that there is, you know, it could be healing that needs to take place in individual um, energies. And that whole, you know, illumination thing that I'm seeing for you guys, maybe what the both of you you know, have done to each other um, and for each other is like you're shining a light on onto some of their shadow sides, okay, onto some of their darker aspects of their personalities. So flaws that they need to embrace, things that they need to work on, weaknesses that they need to strengthen, okay, or even that they need to accept. And they've done the same for you. So any, you know, um, shadow aspects of your personality, um, shadow aspects of your behavior, emotional, behavioral patterns, See, they're shining a light on that, okay? And, you know, the both of you are trying to bring it out into the, um, trying to drag it out of the, out, trying to drag it out, out of the, okay, I will, I will get this out. Um, they're trying to drag it out of the darkness and into the light so that you guys could fix this, you guys could heal what needs healing, fix what, you know, needs repairing. So this is why I feel like your connection is so profound and so, um, and it's feeling so uncomfortable or it might be feeling so painful or just, you know, so uncertain because there is a healing quality that this person has to their energy and there is a healing quality about your energy. So um, this is why I feel like the both of you are, you know, you need to take the time apart because there's a lot to register here. I'm sure there's a lot to register even in the reading itself. The person is very connected with you, okay? This is someone who is very drawn to you, who feels very... Um, very close to you, who feels very closely connected to you, but I'm seeing that there is a lot of pain that needs to be worked through, a lot of healing that needs to happen. Okay, so again, I feel like the silence is speaking volumes, okay, it's up to you to decipher exactly what it is that they're saying, um, what the silence is saying. I'm also seeing that this person is very withdrawn, and so are you. I feel like the both of you are kind of keeping it to yourself. I feel like you're both also holding on to the emotions that you have for each other. You're kind of keeping it to yourselves. You're trying to protect that. I'm also seeing that they're purposely avoiding communicating right now, or you're maybe avoiding communicating right now as a way to protect them, protect your energy, protect them from being hurt. Um, I'm seeing that this person has some healing that needs to do. I'm seeing that this person is very, um, very isolated and feeling very alienated right now. Maybe because you know you guys aren't talking, you guys aren't communicating. Um, they're feeling very lonely. This person is feeling very lonely, um, quite nostalgic. I feel like they're doing a lot of a lot of introspection. Uh, they're doing a lot of reflecting. They're thinking on things. Um, and maybe, you know, this time apart is a good thing because it's forcing this person, though it's uncomfortable and painful, it's forcing this person to take a closer look at what needs healing and what needs fixing, right? Um, I do see that this person is going to reach out and connect with you, okay? I do see that this person is very enthusiastic about trying to get back with you, trying to, you know, 
get in contact with you again okay there is this um rush of enthusiasm there is this rush of energy of this person coming towards you so you know the the energies will shift again okay things the energies will shift once again and i see that this person is uh you know this connection is going to pick up momentum it's going to pick up traction Okay, you've got the lover's card. I mean, you guys are still obviously in love with each other, okay? You guys, you know, you still have feelings for each other. You guys are... Um, and you know that. The both of you know that, okay? You might be holding on to those emotions. You, And for some reason, I feel like you're not sharing this with each other. You, bu you both know that you still love each other. You both know that you're still in love with each other. But it's like you're not... It's like you're... Um, um, it's like you're afraid to say it or you're afraid to feel the, the depths of this emotions or they are. Um, it's also about making a choice because you cannot go back and, you know, keep repeating the same cycles and keep, you know, recycling the same mistakes again and again. You have to make a choice, okay? Um, love is a choice. Um, it is a commitment. So you guys need to make up your mind, you know? There is no... You know, you either do this or you don't. You either, you know, because there's cons. I feel like there's a bit of like on and off in the energies. Okay, and I feel like what this connection lacks is um, consistency, stability. I'm also seeing that. Okay, five of swords here. I'm also seeing that with this person's intuitively, even if they're not communicating with you, you feel intuitively that you know you can still feel the energy you may share a psychic connection with this person or you just you know you could be a very intuitive very you know highly sensitive person highly sensitive energy that can just feel other people's energies and you guys can still be very energetically emotionally attached to the point where you feel what they're feeling okay so if you find yourself thinking about this person a lot and just can't get them out of your head, it's because they're also thinking about you. If you find yourself dreaming about them, you know, they're also dreaming about you. So there's this connection that you guys share. And, you know, intuitively, it's like it's like you can feel them. You can feel them. Even if you're apart, you guys still feel each other. Um, this person is holding on to a lot of regret. Okay, this person is very um, disappointed in themselves. They let you down. They let the connection down. They hurt you. Um, I'm also seeing that they're holding on to it, but all is not lost, okay, this person is so busy and they're so busy fixated on what went wrong and what they did wrong or, you know, how they hurt you that they're not, they're not able to acknowledge that there are two full chalices standing behind them, which then, you know, is an indication of all hope is not lost. And the thing is, the more this person fixates on what they did wrong or what they went wrong, the more that, you know, the bigger that it becomes instead of fixing on how to move forward. So this person is very much, um, so it could be strong water energy here, but I see that this person is, um, yeah, very fixated on the past and what went wrong in the past. They have a lot of regrets. Their heart is filled with very deep, heavy regret. And this during this time alone this is someone who's really consumed by their emotions right now and what they're feeling okay i do feel like they're going to come in with some contact some communication that i then think is going to verify your intuition about them either verify that this person still love you or you know is in love still loves you or is in love with you or does miss you they're coming in with some sort of contact communication that will verify your intuition or confirm your intuition um or confirm you know your intuitive um, associations around this person, around this connection. Okay, there is a bit of an energy of resistance right now. So maybe they've tried to talk, maybe they've tried to reach you, but I'm seeing that maybe you don't want to talk, okay? Or maybe you don't feel very chatty, you don't feel like talking, or you don't feel like, you know, going back and doing this all over again. I see there's a bit of a dis um, resistance in the energies. I'm also seeing that there is that, you know, the, the Seven of Wands, I feel like there's more of that imbalance in the energies. Um, yeah, it just feels like... And the reason why this is not happening is you're not in alignment with each other right now, okay? You're not in alignment with each other. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of tension in the energies. There's a lot of... It's very tense. Things are very tense between the both of you. And when you do communicate, you guys, you know, you communicate... There's a source of tension that's sitting pretty heavy in the energies. And when you guys do communicate, it's almost like you always end up arguing or you always end up 
and it could be sexual tension maybe that's what I'm picking up in the energies for the both of you um, it could be that you know you guys there are some things that you're not uh, talking about you're sweeping it under the rug even though you want to address it like there's a elephant in the room that you're you know you're ignoring there's some tension here that's um, very strong and very present in the energies uh, but I do see that there's going to be contact, there's going to be communication. Just be careful that it doesn't result in, you know, this aggressive communication with the uh, Knight of Swords. Six of Swords, okay, so this person, okay, you've had a tumultuous past with them, or you've had a situation that was very turbulent. You guys need to move forward with it, okay? Um, you need to move on from it. Um, I'm not saying sweep it under the rug and pretend like it never happened. Of course, acknowledge it, address it, you know, do to fix it. But there's no point. I mean, go back to the past and revisit it so you can learn mistakes. But don't keep rereading it, okay? Because you do not want to repeat those same, repeat and recycle those same patterns um, or those same mistakes. But it just feels like, you know, there's some sort of emotional baggage that you or this person is holding on to that is weighing down this relationship. Okay, so some sort of tumultuous situation that this person cannot move on from. And this tumultuous situation may, may have been what caused this imbalance or this Ten of Swords um, energy. Okay, this Knight of Swords energy as well. But, you know, with the Six of Swords, if you let go of this emotional um, baggage, if you, you know, detach yourself from the past and from this, you know, if you heal the past, if you heal the, um, the hurt... You, you put the both of you potentially could be moving towards smooth, calm sailing seas, okay? But there will be contact, there will be communication. I feel like because you come up as the air sign, I feel like you might potentially be initiating this contact communication first. Could have something to do with the fact that if you block this person, you're going to be unblocking them. Or it just could have something to do with the fact that this person may make small talk, but then they may reach out to you first and make small talk but you're the one like you don't want to waste your time you're not a, you're not here for small talk so you might you know hit them with the hard questions hit them um with some um very like very uh forthright um questions that they'll have to go ahead and you know answer all right guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening uh, appreciate your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now